guys, welcome back to Open Source Outlaw. Um, today we're going to talk about deep bloating the stock firmware um, that came with the Tab Pro 12.2. Um, now, if you guys aren't familiar with the term deep bloating, um, it simply means to remove all the um, all the apps that came preloaded on the stock firmware. So if you've just rooted, um, you don't really want to go to a different ROM, or if you're just coming back to the stock firmware for whatever reason, like um, like I am, um, and for me it's because CM11 and CM12 were overheating on me, um, this is a great option just to get rid of a lot of the crap that you're never going to use um, and free up some space on the internal storage. Um, so, for instance, stuff like the New York Times app, which comes preloaded with this firmware, or the Bloomberg app, or even the entire Office suite that Samsung installs on here. If you want to get rid of all that crap because you're never going to use it, um, this is the way to do it. Now, before we begin, I just want to make sure that you guys know that you're, you need to be rooted um, first off, um, you're going to need a st you're going to need a, a um, we're sorry a recovery installed. So whether it's Clockwork Mod or Twerp. Now the reason why you're going to need the recovery is for two reasons. A, you're going to need to flash Super SCU through your recovery. Um, you can actually flash it through the recovery, or you can install it in the Play Store. But I would recommend flashing it through your recovery. And two, you're going to want to do a backup before doing this. So you want to back up your entire operating system to your external SD card and there's a backup feature in, in both um, Clockwork Mod and Twerp. So I'd go ahead and do that before you start getting rid of any apps. The reason being is sometimes um, if you get a little too hasty and get rid of too much stuff um, and you accidentally get rid of something that was um, essential to the operating system, you could screw up um, you know, the entire firmware and it won't work properly. You'll have to reflash um, the firmware again um, back to stock. So. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at SuperSU real quick. I don't really want to do too much on this. You can find stuff on SuperSU elsewhere, but for, for this purpose only, we're going to take a look at it. Um, so when you boot up SuperSU for the first time, um, it's going to ask you, um, even after you've just installed it and you've opened it up for the first time, it's going to ask you to disable NOx. Now, I don't really recommend disabling NOx on the Tab Pro 12.2. Usually this works on other devices um, that I've used, but on the Tab Pro 12.2, every time I've tried to disable Nox, I get random reboots all the time. So, and it's not really essential to disable it anyway. So I just go ahead and press cancel. Now, if you look on the left-hand side, you can see a Maze File Manager, Screen Recorder Pro, and SD Card Fix. Now, this list right here represents all the apps that I've allowed to have root access. Um, and the most important out of these three is going to be the one at the top, Amaze File Manager, because you're going to need to go in the settings and enable root access. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. But the reason you have to do that is because it needs root access to uninstall the apps that came preloaded with the firmware that generally should not be install uninstalled by anything else. Okay, let's go ahead and check out Amaze File Manager. Okay, so you're going to go up to the top left-hand side of your uh, screen, and you're going to go to your um, menu button, and you're going to scroll down, and you're going to go to settings first. And you're just going to click uh, Root Explorer down here. You're just going to tick the box. Now, I've already done it, but when you do it, a little window is going to pop up, and there'll be a little timer thing, like I say 15 seconds or whatever, with a tick box that won't be ticked. And then you'll be able, there'll be a button towards the bottom of the window saying grant. All you want to do is just press grant. Don't do the timer, don't do any of that bullshit because you want a Maze File Manager to have to have root access forever. So let's go ahead and go back. And the app we're going to be using, sorry, the feature we're going to be using to uninstall these apps is the App Manager down just above settings. And here we go. Here's a complete list of all the apps um, installed on this tablet. Um, there's some stuff you definitely don't want to install. Like for me, I try to shy away from all like the all share file service. Some of the stuff that is in direct use of the Wi-Fi, I steer away from, just because it could affect um, the Wi-Fi or whatever. Um, but you can install all of this Ant um, service, all these Ant programs here. I just haven't done it yet. Um, but if you wanted to, you just simply click the top one. And then you just go to uninstall, and then that's it. It takes two seconds, it uninstalls it. Um, it may still appear in this list, but when you do a reboot, after you, you finished uninstalling all the apps you want to uninstall, um, you definitely want to do a reboot, and um, when you come back, those apps will be gone. 
But again, going back to um, some of the stuff that you don't want to uninstall, there are going to be some apps here that might affect other widgets or uh, even the way the tablet works that you just don't want to mess with. Um, for instance, I think something as simple as like Flipboard, fl uh, sorry, Flipboard, which comes preloaded on this firmware, I think that might affect some of the Samsung widgets because I've read that Flip, uh, some of the Samsung widgets rely heavily on Flipboard. Um, so I've never removed it, and I also don't ever use Flipboard, but I'll give that a try at some point. I just don't want to do it now. And again, that's why I said uh, do a backup before, because if you want to start getting experimental and trying to get rid of as much stuff as possible, um, at the very least, if you want to install Flipboard and then you boot back up and it's your tablet's not working properly, you can always go back to that backup and you know restore your tablet. So that's the bonus of doing a backup before doing all of this. Um... All of this hand calm office stuff, office stuff you should be fine getting rid of. Um, it's just the main services. Like you definitely don't want to get rid of Knox again. Don't try to uninstall that. Um, you know, generally you can kind of figure out for yourself. Like anything that has a little Android dude with a little box in his stomach, um, you don't really want to remove any of that stuff. Those are probably essential operating system features like package installer. Definitely don't want to get rid of that pack processor, package access helper. Like I said, I'd steer away from anything that sh that shows an icon for a little Android dude. Um, don't bother with those. Um, and that's about it, guys. Um, this is really easy. You just follow the steps and 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 go ahead and do it. Just make sure you, again that you, you're rooted. You've done a backup, and um, you know you have Super SU installed. Again, you can either flash it through your recovery or download it from the Play Store and install it from there. Um, also, um, you'll need a Maze file manager. You may be able to do this with other file managers. I can't remember if you could do it with uh, uh, ES File Explorer. Um, if you guys have that app, you might be able to do it through there. I think it might have an app manager. I'm not entirely sure, but it's just as easy just to, down to download a Maze file manager and do it the way I've shown you here. Okay, guys, um, if this app help, helped you out, please uh, like the channel. Please um, subscribe to the channel. There will be more app reviews coming up soon and um, some more reviews on the tablet. Thank you. Bye.